Classic Rock 94.9 WMMQ. Joey Pants, Deb Hart, special guest in studio with us, State Senator Rick Jones. Good morning, Good sir. Good morning. Thank you so much for stopping by with that. It's framed already, even. Look at that. That's yeah. beautiful. Thank you for all your service as well. You served as the Eaton County Sheriff for 30 years, was it, before you? I was there 31 years before going to Lansing. All right, and you've been serving uh, serving the people of Michigan in the uh, in the state Senate ever since then, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, listening to classic rock. It rocked all the way over here. Awesome, good, good. And I appreciate you mentioning us on your Facebook page, and we got some... Uh, is, do, you have a, do you have a song that you would say embodies classic rock? Well, uh, I think for this station it would be Born to be Wild. Mm. I like that. I like that. Yeah, one of our other <laughs> listeners picked that as well. Okay, so we can can do that before the senator leaves today. I do believe we've got it in the system yesterday. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. It's a staple. It's a classic rock staple. I've got it right here. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> now, you've been in this area for, uh, I mean, you, did you grow up in, in this area? I grew up in Battle Creek. I've been okay. here about 41 years. Okay. Do you remember when the station came on the radio? I do. Oh, all right. Was it like what? But I didn't know the first song until you mentioned it today. Oh, you're good. He takes good notes. Yeah, it's quite a <laughs> cycle of like four songs throughout the weekend. The Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin, Rock and Roll by Mitch Ryder. Uh, it's only Rock and Roll, so you kind of get the idea that something Rock and Roll was going to happen here. Yeah, it was funny talking to uh, Bob Fox earlier this morning who said that he was pounding his dashboard. He was so excited at what he heard coming out of the radio 30 years ago today. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody thinks they can call me and I can answer anything. So yesterday, your big fan, Booth Perky, called me and said, Hey, Rick, you got to give me the answer so I can win the prize. <laughs> I said, but Booth, that'd be cheating. <laughs> Do you know the story about Booth? Have you heard uh, his I, story? I know all the stories about Booth. <laughs> and his ribbon. In a birthday suit. I, I've heard that story. <laughs> Uh, but Booth and I go back much farther. Wow, yeah. It was great. It's one of my favorite moments in our whole show. Actually, I, I have to ask, have you seen the home base slide by Booth and Preston's? The, the face first, oh yeah, he would do the face first slide on the wood floor at Preston's. Oh, oh priceless. Oh my God. Oh yeah, he ain't a little feller either. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Booth. Just tell the truth here. So Booth had, uh, uh, was it his anniversary with his wife? It was his wife's birthday happened to be oh, Valentine's yeah. Day. And he went home and he got naked, jumped in the closet, if I'm not mistaken. And she came home with a couple of friends. And he jumps out of the closet. Yeah, some ribbons tied strategically on <coughs> as well, carrying a big sign saying "Happy Birthday." <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, I don't think Booth would shoot me if I told you this, but uh, <laughs> he he claims he made my career. Yeah. <laughs> you knew nothing about him. I was a 21-year-old deputy, and I pulled up to Canal and Saginaw. This man in front of me passed out in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> he went to jail. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> uh, his name was Booth. <laughs> well, speaking of birthdays, it's our birthday, and that is awesome. It is WMMQ Day. It's got a plaque. It's got a frame. It's everything. Absolutely. You know, we have here Classic Rock, a special state tribute. Let it be known that it is with great pleasure we recognize WMMQ Classic Rock 94.9 as it celebrates 30 years of rocking the airwaves. On April 15, 1985, a rock and roll landmark was born. On that day, Lansing, Michigan's WMMQ became the first classic rock station in the nation. For three decades, WMMQ has been playing the songs that have defined a generation and has sustained great popularity. Since the radio's station's inception. The live and local WMMQ air personalities have continuously connected greater Lansing community with a multitude of ways. Not only does WMMQ provide a forum for listeners to have their voices heard, but it has hosted public events, community concerts, and fundraisers for various causes. Therefore, in special tribute, we sign and seal this document, Governor Rick Snyder and Senator Rick Jones. Yeah. Happy birthday to oh, me. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. Right uh, Very well worded. You, you, you might have a career in politics. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that. It's all in the message. <laughs> well, it's good. You do got a good voice, too. You can work that into a radio career. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> State Senator Rick Jones, thank you so much for making this happen. It was a very easy process, and I really appreciate you taking the time and taking the time out of your very busy day to be here. Well, glad to do that, and uh, we hope we'll see you in... Uh, 
probably for number 40. That's right. Yeah, that's absolutely. We can plans. Let's do it. Yeah. So the tune uh, that you said was Born to be Wild? Well, when you said what song yep. embodies this Bites. station, absolutely. Right. You know, when you look at Duran Martinez, you think Born to be Wild. <laughs> It's Rick Jones, born to be wild. <laughs> WMQ. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. <laughs>